students amir komali ma'am this video is for class 10 students and who are preparing for boards and neat foundation and it foundation in this session i am going to teach you about the corrosion of metals very easy topic what is this corrosion corrosion means you know last class we have discussed about oxidation right oxidation so because oxidation of metals may happen or oxidation of food may happen so oxidation of metals we call it as corrosion oxidation of metals we call it as corrosion oxidation of food we call it as rancidity in this session i am going to talk about this corrosion corrosion means oxidation of metals metals undergo oxidation see if you observe na uh, buildings and all uh during construction some iron materials will be left there or uh, uh, iron object you can see if you leave that iron object for longer time this iron comes in contact with the air and moisture and it forms the rust that phenomena we call it as corrosion what is corrosion corrosion is a process in which metals are eaten up gradually by the action of air in air what will react oxygen may react and moisture or any other chemicals which are present and or if any chemicals if you put this metals comes in contact with that and undergo corrosion mostly iron you know iron gates and all will be there right so after if you don't put a paint to that iron gates what will happen on iron this rust will form what is this rust iron reacts with the air means oxygen present in the air o2 is oxygen and in the presence of some molecules of water it results in the formation of the rust what is this rust fe2o3 dot xh2o what is the rest fe2o3 dot x h2o here x number is number of molecules of water which is not fixed fe2o3 dot x h2o this is what hydrated iron 3 oxide we say is a rust actually this rust no it is some kind of uh, porous substance and soft substance soft and porous substance what will happen na uh, once this rust forms on this iron object slowly uh, after uh, some days this rust will falls down okay once this rust falls down that inner iron comes in contact with the air again again that will undergo uh, oxidation corrosion okay again that will form the rust like this total the iron object lost its property and so much damage will happen that is the reason what we do we do painting and all examples corrosion we mostly we see iron steel objects and railings we see car bodies bridges and ships ships down parts no if uh, that is made up of iron if the ship goes into the water then down part more time it will be in contact with the water so that rust will be formed and that leads to the loss of that iron you know and here what i want to tell you is not only iron objects copper also if you keep copper object for long time or you know in a house itself that copper pot if you want to drink the water you leave for 3 uh, 4 days 4 5 days depending upon that copper nature i mean quality uh, after few days itself that green color layer you can see that it changes to green why because this copper reacts with the oxygen present in the air and moisture it converts into copper hydroxide and copper carbonate copper carbonate this is green colored substance this is what green colored layer green layer this is green layer the combination of copper hydroxide and copper carbonate what we call students tell me that is called as a green layer which we observe next you can observe silver objects also it they turns into black color upon this oxidation corrosion silver also undergoes how silver objects reacts with the hydrogen sulfide present in the atmosphere 
and uh, you know it uh, it reacts with the oxygen present in the air and converts into a black colored substance called ag2s and water will be formed so what is this ag2s black color substance black color layer that silver object slightly turns to black color why because of this reaction just i'm balancing by keeping here two just balancing two oxygens are there here two two okay this is the reaction and even aluminum also reactive and aluminum reacts with the oxygen present in the air it will also undergo corrosion but here aluminum is having one property that this aluminum oxide is in a once it forms aluminum oxide this is aluminum piece this aluminum oxide forms a layer around this aluminum so that inner aluminum don't it is not attacked by outer oxygen first aluminum reacts with oxygen forms al2o3 whatever the aluminum oxide forms it forms a layer around aluminum so that this aluminum won't react with the further uh, oxygen in such a way protection happens but it is not good even though uh, to use this aluminum vessels for the you know uh, uh, cooking and all because slowly it reacts with oxygen and forms this aluminum oxide these are the corrosion reactions which are important my name is komali i'm your chemistry mentor thank you so much for watching this video see you again in next video bye love you